going to talk about something that you can do right now to get a higher rating and get more money in tips. And that is listening. And that's the topic of today's conversation. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I think is the most important concept that you need to understand when it comes to improving your tips. So hey, everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're going to talk about asking great questions and then listening with enthusiasm to the answers and watching how that can get your tips to go up. Check this out. Last week, right? So this is in real time. Last week, I got $177 in tips. Now, what can you do with $177 in tips? Well, if you work 50 weeks, that's like an extra $8,500 that you have in tip money over a year. So one thing you can do is what I'm doing tonight, which is I bought a $500 round trip ticket to Bogota in Colombia in South America. I spent $200 on an Airbnb, right? Which I'm gonna be staying at for four nights while I'm there. And then I'm bringing another $500 so I have money for spending on Ubers and tours and restaurants and fun things to do. That's $1,200. That's one trip. With $8,500, you can take about six or seven of those trips per year. So my point is, it's not an insignificant amount of money, what you can make in tips and what you can do with tips. Now, what I've discovered is the, the most valuable tool that I have to get tips is my ability to ask a question, listen for the answer, and then respond enthusiastically, and then ask another question, right? So. Let's look at this particular ride. As you can see, I got $15 tip on an $18 ride. So I'm gonna share with you what, the, what were the questions that I asked and the answers that, I gave, that they gave me and also how I responded to those answers. So let's take a look at that now. So I could tell because they had a lot of luggage, they were going on a trip uh, and I asked them, uh, they said they were going to Hawaii. And then I said, which island are you going to today? And they said, Maui, and I said, awesome. I bet you'll see some amazing turtles because I've been to Maui and you see these amazing turtles. Even if you just snorkel, do you plan to do some snorkeling? And they said, yes. I said, are you planning to go to a luau? They said, yes. I said, oh my God, the pork from the pig is amazing. You're going to have such a wonderful time. How long are you staying? And they said, one week. I said, wow, I am jealous. You're going to have the best time. So I just ask questions. I make a few little comments, but it's always very positive. You want to, your, your passengers to feel good, right? Feel good. You're, you're listening to them. You're responding positively, and it's a, it's a good experience. You're, you're putting good energy into their life, and from that, you're going to get a reward. In many cases, you'll get a nice reward of an excellent tip. doesn't seem too difficult, but there's some basics that you need to kind of lay the groundwork with to ensure that you get the tips. So... What you got to do is, first of all, make sure you have a clean car inside and out. You want to play some nice, peaceful music. You want to do smooth driving, no herky-jerky. You're not in a hurry. They're not in a hurry. You want to help people with their luggage and their packages. They love that. Every time I go behind the car and I grab their luggage from their hand and say, I'll take that, they always say, thank you so much. And avoid the topics of sex, religion, and politics. Simple as that. What I want to show you right here is uh, if you don't know what kind of music to play and you're a Spotify customer, it's real easy to go do a search for my name and then scroll down a little bit and then pick the, uh, the playlist that's called Beginnings. It's about 120 or so songs, really nice jazz, morning kind of jazz music. And I think it'll relax you and your passengers will really dig it. But it's worth trying and just see if you like it. Uh, so I offer that to you just as a way to kind of give that nice relaxing vibe in your car because that contributes to tips. Now, the concept that I wanted to share with you that I think is so important is that of being a conductor. So this is an image of Michael Tilson Thomas. He's the conductor of the San Francisco uh, Symphony and he has been for the last 20 years. And as a conductor, you have to make sure that all these different parts of the orchestra are performing because if one of them isn't, the whole thing kind of doesn't happen. And it, that's the same way it is with you getting tips. Clean car, good music, good driving, and really importantly, asking good questions, listening, and then responding with enthusiasm to the answer and asking another question. By listening really well, right, 
uh, your passengers are going to realize you're someone unique and rare and special because people in general don't listen. Instead, they're waiting to, for you to finish talking so that they can talk back at you. And that's not very, very satisfying. So the main concept here is you're a conductor and pull all these pieces together, including the listening, and you're gonna start making some extra money. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you and makes you think about listening in a different way, not only with the people in your car, but also with the people that are in your life. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, this YouTube channel for The Rideshare Guy, by all means do, because we, we put out two to three pieces of great content every single week and you'll be notified. If you're a rideshare driver, you wanna stay on top of what's happening in this arena, and uh, this is the place to be. Thanks for watching. You go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.